Michigan leads the all-time series. Largest margin of victory. Talk about putting it on your rival. 119 <laughs> zip back in 1902 for Michigan. Wolverines, biggest defeat to the Spartans in 1967. They've played every year since 1945. And they are ready to go. I like how Jim Harbaugh said to us, they have been a slippery team for us. Gain of 17. Jack Broussard's in it running back. It's a swing pass. Here's Reed across midfield. And knocked out of bounds in Wolverine territory at the 46. It's a five-yard game, so a good start for Michigan State, which comes here 104th in the country. There is a flag down by the far side of the field between the hash marks and the numbers. Reggie Smith is leading this Big Ten officiating crew. Jaden Reed had a strange injury early in the season, missed some time in so shape. Had a career game last week, nine catches, 117 yards, and a touchdown. After the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense, number 79. That's his first of the game. 15 yard penalty from the dead ball spot. Yard line. And it's second down. And now the official stopped the play. There's another flag. For another penalty against the Spartans. Offense, number 56. Matt Carrick, the right guard, is who they got. In college football's biggest stadium. And they are in full voice early. Horn kept it, and he gets dropped for a loss. Junior Colson. Of struggles, third down conversions. You saw the numbers 42% and change. Reed with a long way to go. Just made it a little bit better for their great punter as he got across the 40. Tackled by Sain Rastill and really needed it so far this year against a pretty light schedule on their way to 7 and 0. On first down, right to that power run, straight up the middle, Blake Corum. To make you account for it, and he's a very good runner when they call his number. They're a terrific running team. Good play fake by McCarthy on target for a first down. They love their tight ends. That's Luke Schoonmaker. By one of their tight ends. They throw five completions per game to tight ends. McCarthy. To Schoonmaker again. Senior from Hamden, Connecticut has eight. Here's tonight. Behind, as you saw at the open, 339 against Penn State. Corum, even though he's short, he is powerful. 5'8, 210. Speedy slot receiver. They swing it out wide. Cornelius Johnson lost the football, and the Spartans have it. Deshaun Mallory recovered the fumble. He had a huge fumble recovery against Wisconsin in their double overtime win. It was Xavier Henderson, their big playmaking safeties all season, tied for third fewest in the country. Only USC and San Jose State with fewer entering this weekend. Here you go. Come right there, number 58. He is a big man, 6'3", 337. Out wide, it's Berger again. First year at MSU. Generally used three. Play clock running down. Collins straight ahead. Very close to the 47-yard line, which would give him the first down. It looks like they're going to spot it just short of the hash mark, and therefore short of the line to gain. And Mel Tucker's going to go for it. I think each team wants to believe it is the more physical yep. team. This is a bruising rivalry, and Mel Tucker wants his team to make an early statement. 
Two tight ends in from Michigan State to the right. Collins stacked up, did not appear to get it. Although the official from the near sideline is giving him a very favorable spot if he marks it on the right foot. And Makari Page came in second. At the 46 and a half yard line. The line the game was the 47. It'll be Michigan's ball, first and 10, from the 46 and a half. Everything an NFL team would be looking for in a center. Blake Corum dragging Xavier Henderson with him to the 43 yard line of Michigan State. He gets it again, bounces outside, and spins very close to that yellow line. We'll take nothing for granted. Ronnie Bell, one in motion. Corm has the first down. And Todd, to your point of the opening telephones. Okay. Favorite bunch to either side. Donovan Edwards, the running back. McCarthy fake to him. Edwards has it with running room down the sideline. And he's down at the three yard line. First and goal from just inside the four. And nothing doing. Xavier Henderson, such an important player on this defense. Runs in this part of the field. Second and goal now from the seven. Here is the quarterback run, and McCarthy's in trouble. They were ready for it. Xavier Henderson there again. Lost another yard on that play. Edwards, the running back. McCarthy short throw for Ronnie Bell nowhere near the end zone. It'll be fourth and goal from just inside the five in their last game two weeks ago here. Moody went four for four. He was the Lou Groza award winner as the best kicker in the country last season. And he's good from 22 tonight. Well, it's Michigan and Michigan State. Already some controversies. Parker zero a little bit. Some sort of core muscle injury. He's out there, obviously. Peyton Thorn takes off running. Peyton Thorn scampers for a first down for Michigan State. Out to the 37. He got 12. 136 per game. A screen, a high throw, and it's almost intercepted. He threw it over the head of Berger, and Michael Barrett almost had the interception. Learn more about it, and his back is a starter. Third down and eight, a minute to go in the first quarter. Keon Coleman makes one of those big plays that Todd talked about at the beginning of the telecast. Again, you can't be in better position than Green was. Make a lot of big plays in the passing game and almost none in the running game. There's Malik Carr, one of their tight ends. He's to the 26, a gain of six. A little tempo now by Michigan State. And they have Michigan scrambling on defense. They throw it up for Coleman again, and he has it! Touchdown, Michigan State! Might have got away with a little push off that time. It was green again. And the safety help was late coming over. But again, it's the big body. And it's a quarterback having confidence to throw the ball up and give your guy a chance to make plays. It doesn't have to be a perfect throw. Field goal and uh, extra point problems. Ben Patton won the job to be the kicker tonight. And he kicks the extra points. Jeff Petrowski just applied pressure on that last play. And he's been injured lately after starting the first three. Schoonmaker again. Again, try aggressively to rip it out, not effectively that time. And that will likely be the last play of the first quarter. First season in East Lansing already three times the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week. It's the sixth player in history to do that. Blake Carr. Almost broke free, broke a couple of tackles, but stumbled after he got out of the last one. Flea flicker. 
Roman Wilson was covered down the middle. Ronnie Bell has come open late and has a first down at the 32 yard line. And a really good decision by J.J. McCarthy not to force it down the field. It's most famous sporting venues, Wembley Stadium in London. First and 10, Michigan. McCarthy ducked away from a hit and is on target again. Schoonmaker having a big first half. Gives Michigan first and goal at the eight, a play of 24. Well, again, McCarthy's ability to extend a play, elude the pressure, step up inside of the rush. It was Brule, number seven, who was applying pressure, and then calmly get the football down the field. Throws very well. Michigan trying to retake the lead. Corum, who leads the nation in rushing touchdowns with 13. Corum to the two yard line. What? Lots of shifting. They pitch it forward to Corum. And he has his 14th rushing touchdown. And Michigan goes back on top. That'll actually go as a receiving touchdown because it was a flip just barely forward. That's his first receiving touchdown and 14th total touchdown of the year. And you got three tight ends. I mean, they they move people around, they shift, they motion. Then here comes a little flip to Corum. And Michigan State had defenders there, but just strength by Corum to fight through a tackle and get in the end zone. Jay Moody adds the extra point. Impressive drive, 80 yards and eight plays. Sean Mallory, number 94, had a shot. He started late. They only played six games. Here's Collins again for Michigan State. A good run for the first down across the 35-yard line, driven back by Chris Jenkins. Quick snap on third down and nine. Single coverage. And Ford on target. And after the catch, lots of running by Keon Coleman to the 36-yard line of Michigan. 15 and athletic. That one's good for 23. He's working against DJ Turner, who is six foot 180. Now this time, the pay, Markari Page. Plays have been through the air. Play clock running down. Berger. Could not break free from Mozzie Smith's tackle. Out of the pistol again. And he followed the tight end, Malik Carr. And it's very close to a first down at the four. Chris Jenkins, another tackle. Reed in motion. It's a delay is dumped. Boy, if you're going to go for it, why would you run such a slow developing play? Michael Barrett made the tackle. And Michigan takes over on downs for the second time tonight. Yeah, just really good play. They brought motion, and when Barrett went with the motion, watch, he's going to go with the motion and then come off the edge. They also got penetration on the inside. And you're right, the counter step by the back, it's a slow developing play, and Barrett able to wrap him up behind the line of scrimmage. And two times tonight now, Michigan State stopped on fourth and short. Michigan top five in the country in a number of defensive stats, but they played uh, some of the worst offenses in the country entering tonight. Meanwhile, Blake Corum taking the Spartans for a ride all the way to the 23. Just a great double team by Oluwatemi, the center and the left guard, Trevor Keegan. And then just power running and leg strength by Blake Corum. Max Bredesen, a tight end, lined up as the fullback. Edwards turns the corner, and he's out of bounds at the Michigan from its own 31. 
Corum first down. You know, Blake Corum, when coaches have told him from time to time he needs to work out less. McCarthy. J.J. McCarthy dives down after a big gainer across midfield to the Spartan 45. That's 21 on the run for McCarthy. There's little things about playing the position. And they think he has first round talent. Fourth and three. This is Edwards here, so he and Corum are both in the game. McCarthy. Takes off running, has the first down and a lot more. To the 22 goes the 19-year-old J.J. McCarthy. Big part of the first half, Michigan State 0 for 2 on fourth down. Edwards wrestled down by Halliday and helped down below from Kendall Brooks. And Edwards. Uses the speed to bounce outside. First down at the six. Chased out by Xavier Henderson. First and goal from the six. McCarthy in trouble and dropped back at the nine. They've been ready yeah. for those quarterback runs down close. Passing, and he's been a big part of their ground success. Second and goal from the nine. Michigan up three under a minute and a half to go. Here goes McCarthy running again back to the six. What a job Sharon Moore does. He won the Joe Moore Award's best offensive line in the country last year. Just a three man rush. McCarthy incomplete. Tried to rifle one in to Schoonmaker about three yards into the end zone. Michigan State for this year. Here's Jake Moody. A 25 yard field goal. Which is a gimme for him. Another field goal in the red zone for Michigan. And a 13 to 7 lead. Mel Tucker using those timeouts. We'll have a minute and eight. No timeouts he goes left. Play action. We'll start with Blake Corum. That running back. He rushed for 76 yards in the first half on 13 carries. He juggled the ball and got knocked up in the air for a moment as he collided with Charles Brantley. And he's finally taken down by Xavier Henderson. But the play went all the way <laughs> to the 38. Did you see him cover it up with two hands after it popped up in the air? Came right back to him. Now watch him cover it up. On his way for another 100-yard game. Could get there on this carry. He's yanked down after a pickup of nine. It's like we can't get bored running at him. He wants to ride the run game on offense in the second half. Riding Corum right now. Corum with that carry up to 105 yards for the game. Corum the running back. McCarthy deep throw and knocked away. Tried to get it to Ronnie Bell and it was very well played by Ronald Williams. Yeah, really. There's a well flag played. down. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 41. So the starters to the right tackle, Andrew Stuber. And they brought in Ola with Timmy, who's center. And he has been tremendous. Over the middle, Schoonmaker. Schoonmaker at four catches in the first half. Has another here early in the second half. And this Connecticut. Donovan Edwards. To the 28 yard line. It'll be third down and four from there. Simeon Barrow made the tackle. Four team in the country. Can they get a stop on third down? They are in field goal range. Corum. It's bounced forward and perhaps got the first down there. And again showing his strength and power. Blake was a kid. Play fake by McCarthy. Dumps it down and it's dropped. Dropped by Colston Loveland. Another time consuming drive. Michigan, one of the top teams in the country in time of possession. Eighth high throw. Too high for Ronnie Bell. In the big edge in time of possession. 
They had the ball for 41 minutes 56 seconds against Penn State two weeks ago. Winman wrestles down McCarthy, well short of the first down. With Moody. Brad Robbins the holder. Greg Tarr is the snapper here in the third quarter. He's their second string snapper. They lost William Wagner earlier this year. Moody good from 39. And Michigan has the largest lead of the night for either team. They're up by nine. Big pass placed through the air. With just seven points on the board, in part because of the failure on the two fourth down. They're launching it deep into single coverage. That was very well defended yeah. by DJ Turner, running stride for stride with Jaden Reed. They completed all six passes. Yeah. Four targets, four catches, Coleman. Two targets, two catches, Reed. A run on second and ten. And it was Jalen Berger. He's really had a good start to the season. Under pressure, Thorne locks it up in a double coverage, and it's batted down by Rod Moore. He came over here as a veteran guy from Virginia, worked to earn the respect of his teammates, and I think this offensive line might even be better than the group they had last year. That line opened up another hole, and Corm had to break one tackle, and he was gone. Angelo Gross saved the touchdown and held it to a 12-yard play. Pass from McCarthy and a dandy, and Bell almost took it the distance. He was tripped up by Kendall Brooks. Great fast pass. Billy Bell missed almost all of last season injured in the opener. For him again, we asked Jim Harbaugh yesterday this offense compared to last year. AJ Henning went in motion. Corum. Second time around, he got swung down. Let's go, time they talk on the phone and hearing notes about what they did to work hard that day. Michigan offensive oh. line is going to start to really impose its will here in the second half. Donovan Edwards. Winning again with help from Brooks. In no hurry to snap it. Fancy play, but it didn't fake out the Spartans. It was Brooks again up from the secondary, and Roman Wilson. Michigan State brought pressure off the corner. The Blitzer missed the tackle on court. He got ahead just for three. All of a sudden, Ohio State kind of exploded on him. They have that kind of ability. And you got to be effective scoring touchdowns in the red zone to win big games. But he's already three for three tonight. And he's four for four. So for the second game in a row, he's gone four for four in field goals. Third quarter, Michigan State's run only three plays to 20 for Michigan. They've had it for 42 seconds. Elijah Collins on first down gets five. Send Daniel Barker a tight end in motion. Out wide for Reed, and he's chucked down for a loss. Great move on the ball by Will Johnson, the true freshman from Detroit, a five-star prospect who was an early enrollee. Yeah, he made a quick move. There was only one receiver to block. Mosley blocked St. Estrill, but there was nobody to block Will Johnson, and he made a great tackle in the open field. He's played in every game, and the coaches think he's a future star, the son of the former Michigan defensive back, Deion Johnson. Third down and sixth, and they stay on the field, not on that play, unless they get a flag, and they won't. Too high for Daniel Barker. Michigan brought pressure, had a five-man rush. To Michigan State was on the team at 18, got cut from the team in 19. High snap! He fielded it and got it off. They were a little concerned about the backup snapper, Michael Donovan. Sixth year senior, 23 years old, Waterford, Michigan. Blitz up the middle, is picked up. And Bell spins down after an eight yard game. Going forward, starting next Saturday. 
out of the pistol. Corum. Other than the red zone problems, this is the kind of night Jim Harbaugh yeah, loves. Absolutely. Johnson, Jim's recruiting guys who love football, love to compete. McCarthy. Dodge the rush, and here he goes. Out of bounds. Did he stay in bounds long enough to get the first down? It looks like he did. They're going to mark it at the 41. And that's a first down for Michigan. What they might lack in an explosive downfield passing game, they kind of make up for with a great running game and a quarterback that can do this, who can extend plays, skill set as a runner that this guy does. Dave McInerney is injured now and he's not even the backup. Throw and catch for about a five yard gain. Donovan Edwards the grab. 50 seconds. And the lingering frustration of the night for them. Field goals in the red zone. They picked two field goals in the third quarter. Bad throw behind Ronnie Bell. Tried to rescue it from McCarthy and could not. On the fringe of field goal range. Look out, McCarthy got hit as he threw it. And it sailed incomplete in the general direction of Donovan Edwards. Didn't look like he ever saw the ball coming. 54 into a very light breeze, which you would not think would be a factor. Fourth down and five. And he got it! Jake Moody. First Michigan kicker to win the Lou Gross Award as the best kicker in the country. He did that last year. Trying to double up with that one. He is five for five tonight. What a difference between two teams. I mean, Mel Tucker doesn't even want to try a field goal. Wants to go for it on fourth down. Jim Harbaugh is having to settle for field goals. But what a luxury to know you got a guy that's going to put points on the board consistently. A down by 15. And the offense has gone stagnant. They took away the deep throw. He checked it down. And it's a short game to the tight end, Daniel Barker. Jalen Berger, the running back, and he is dropped for a loss. Excellent penetration by Chris Jenkins, the junior from Olney, Maryland, who's had a very nice night. You know, this is a mistake by Michigan State because nobody even accounted for him. I mean, he's a defensive tackle, and he's right here, and there's nobody even going to put a body on him. I mean, the running back has no chance. Junior Colson was there as well, but you can't leave that defensive tackle unblocked. Third down and six, a lot of maneuvering by the Michigan defensive line. It never really looks set. It doesn't matter. It's an incomplete pass thrown to Tyler Hunt. Back for the punt from Berenger. Oh, boy. He had trouble with the snap, and he's down inside the 10. The one before this was high. And Beringer was able to grab it with one hand. He's been kind of nervous all night and hasn't been punting his normal tap the way he has because I think he's been concerned about the snaps from Michael Donovan. This one is not on the punter. And this ball is sailing over his head. Wow. Yeah, they were concerned. Mel Tucker mentioned it during the week. You know, not just about the accuracy but the speed of it getting yep. back there too and even though the accuracy was the biggest issue they were kind of floated back too. So seven years later not as dramatic trouble with the snap but right. trouble with a couple of snaps tonight in the opposite direction. And the folks here would probably like that call better. Corum takes it inside the five and sign of a well coached team taking their time. Well, there's still more time they could take off. They snap it at 12. Coram has the touchdown. He has both Michigan touchdowns. That one from four yards out. A beautiful execution. This Michigan offensive line, the tight end Schoonmaker. They get the turnover with the special teams and capitalize. And in at 14. Jake Moody adds the extra point. 
And it is a 22 point game. Started with the bad snap, the second bad snap in a row. This time can't be fielded. And Michigan capitalizes, power running. And Blake Corum does what he does well, gets it in the end zone. Coordinator, Western Michigan. They played each other in the season opener. They're not on the same page on offense. Rod Moore almost had an interception. The play was out of bounds. Ozzie Smith and his men up front. Cognizant of that. They put pressure on and they swing Thorn down. Braden McGregor, Jr., back up defensive end with his second sack of the season. And Michigan's second of the game. When you know they're going to throw all the time, you can pin your ears back. Here he is. He's working on the left tackle, Horst, and he just beats him. Just whips him, knocks the arms down, chases down Thorne. For the Spartans, third and 15. Just 188 yards of offense in the game, and a low throw and an incomplete pass intended for Daniel Barker. They wanted a late hit on the Michigan State sideline. They're not going to get it. No shot. It's interesting. Long throw and Coleman's behind the defense. He stumbled a bit after the catch. Might have cost him a touchdown. Instead, it's a big gainer inside the 30th. Learn what they're doing on defense, but as he has gotten the gist of it, he's played more and more. Here comes a blitz on fourth down and nine. And it is caught nice for an apparent first down. And now uh, some flags fly as Daniel Barker was mixing it up with Rod Moore. This is a really good throw under full pressure by Peyton Thorne and a catch with good coverage by Daniel Barker. He had a good career at Illinois. 11 touchdown catches there. Most in Illinois history by a tight end. How about his former team? Oh, Another boy. win today in Nebraska. Yeah. Seven and one. They can the run the football field. and they're really good on defense. I mean, that's their formula. Down. After so. the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense, number six. That's his first. 15 yard penalty from the succeeding spot. It's first and 10. We met nine, not six. Nice catch. Physical tackle by Rod Moore, and there it is right there. Just wow. at the end of the play. A big play threat for this Michigan State pass offense. Second and 10. Down to 4.15 to go. And the pass is intercepted. Picked off by Rod Moore. His third career interception, all of them this season, to lead the Wolverines. He's a sophomore from Clayton, Ohio. Well, Moore does a great job of keeping eyes on the quarterback and reading where he was going. Here's Moore right here. He's going to drop deep, and pretty soon you're going to see the crossing route come over with Coleman. But Moore's eyes are on the quarterback. He feels the route. And he jumps it. Great job here for a number of years. He hired Mike McDonald away from his brother's staff at the Baltimore Ravens. Here's Corum, first down. He's had a nifty night. And of course, Jim Harbaugh took Mike McDonald away with John Harbaugh's right. blessing. Mike McDonald, oh boy. Do uh, you think they want to run it up in the uh, rivalry game? That seems a little much, I think, for some, but we speculated earlier. If they had a chance to put it on them, they would probably try. Go down to Baton Rouge and get a win there. I just think they're they're kind of right back where they want to be in the SEC West. McCarthy, another deep throw, this time in a double coverage, and it's incomplete. And there are flags trying to get it to Cornelius Johnson. I definitely think that was interference. There was definitely contact. There was a safety coming sure over. This one. Yep. I think he'll feel pretty good about his performance tonight. True freshman C.J. Stokes is in it running back. He gets the call. 
Zion Young to tackle. Here comes Paul. After a two year stay in East Lansing, Paul Bunyan is going to reside in Ann Arbor for the next year at the very least. Michigan State had won 10 of the previous 14 ever since Mike Hart referred to the Spartans as their little brother. We talk about winning the rivalry games now, Todd, for Jim Harbaugh. Last time he played Ohio State, they yep. beat him. Last That's time right. they played Michigan State, they beat him. And they beat him convincingly here today. If they were better in the red zone. Would have been a much more one sided game. That'll do it. Tempers flaring here at the end. Michigan after rushing for 418 against Penn State last week. Rushes for 276 against Michigan State. The coaches trying to separate the players. Mel Tucker suffers his first loss against Michigan in his third game. He was the first Spartan coach to win each of his first two against Michigan. And the teams are moving toward the tunnel. It is the same tunnel. That was an issue last week against Penn State, as Jim Harbaugh pointed out. The stadium's been here for 95 years with one tunnel. It really hasn't been a problem. And Paul Bunyan belongs to the Michigan Wolverines. Taking it down near the student section. A huge crowd here tonight, 111,083. That's about 3,500 over stadium capacity to watch Michigan go to 8 0 and 20 and 2 in their last 22 games. J.J. McCarthy threw for 167 and a touchdown. He ran for 50 yards. And the Michigan defense held the Spartans with 37 yards rushing, under two yards per carry, and 252 yards of total offense. Very impressive team. Very impressive. I mean, well coached. Their special teams are solid. The offense. You can run the football. I mean, that travels. I, mean, I don't care where you're playing, what environment. You can run like that. And their defense, you know, we keep waiting. Is, is the defense as good as the numbers? Well, they were again tonight. And we'll see down the road if they continue to play at this level. Could be a collision course for two undefeated teams to end the regular season in Columbus. Each team of work to do. Stay tuned, except on the West Coast, for your local news. For Molly McGrath, Todd Blackledge, Matt Austin, Sean McDonough, good night from Ann Arbor. I'm a horseshit football coach.